Hello and welcome back. This is Bridges iCloud, a leader in asset management solutions training. This is an outline of our SAP S4 HANA training, and this is one of the most sought after training in asset management space today. My name is Anthony, and I am SAP Certified Application Associate in SAP S4 HANA Cloud. I am also a Certified Maintenance and Reliability Professional from SMRP, and I have over 20 years experience in maintenance and reliability. Some of the industries where I've worked include pharmaceutical, food processing, chemicals, oil and gas, data center and facilities management, among others. I'm going to provide a quick outline of the course. Uh, it has about five modules. And the first module is introduction to SAP S4 HANA. The second module is overview of business processes. Then we have the third module covering management of technical objects. Then preventive maintenance is covered in fourth module. And finally, we have module five, which looks at customization. So doing a quick drill down of each of the modules, we have introduction to SAP S4 HANA in module one. Then we have navigation using Fiori apps. We shall be looking at Fiori Launchpad and other resources that are provided by SAP. Then look at system integrations. This is where we integrate asset management module with other modules such as quality management, finance, HR, materials management, among others. Then finally, we look at SAP Activate and best practices. And some of the resources that are found there are great for project implementation, such as the accelerators. The second module, we look at business processes. And over there, we look at maintenance organization, technical objects, then we also look at different types of maintenance. We have breakdown maintenance, corrective maintenance, refurbishment, and project-related maintenance. In the third module, we look at technical objects. And in this module, we shall be configuring functional locations, equipment, bill of materials, also looking at serial numbers, measuring points, and counters, and also finally looking at warranties and linear asset management. In the fourth module, we'll look at preventive maintenance, and we covered things like task lists and maintenance planning from single cycle and different cycle dimensions perspective. And then also look at maintenance strategy from a time-based and performance-based perspective. We finally look at customization in module five, where we look at organization units, notifications, work orders and controlling functions. So let us now look at the training structure. We have three elements in our training structure. We have videos similar to the one that you're watching right now on YouTube. Then we have simulation and we illustrate these in our videos, but then you can also go to our website where you can get a hands-on practice on those simulations on how to navigate different functionalities in SAP. And finally, we have notes. We will provide as much notes as we can in our videos, but then also links to any other resources that we think would be beneficial to reference. So some of the other resources that we I would like to highlight here is that we have open online courses by SAP. And I'm going to provide a link to uh, this portal uh, below this video. But if you click on that, you can go to the website and over there you can find a lot of good content that is great for getting conversant with some of the things that we shall be covering in this training. The next resource is my YouTube channel, which is a channel that you're watching right now. If you go there, there's a lot of videos. If you go to playlist, for example, you can find a lot of videos in SAP EAM and uh, you can just 
blows through all of this and have that great content. The other resource that I want to highlight is our website. This is bridgesicloud.com. If you click on that, uh, this is our website. We have great training here. We have, want to know a little bit about us, you can navigate there. Then you can also get to uh, the courses that we have. And if you click on SAP as for HANA, you can navigate to curriculum. And then these are the courses, all the courses that we have. It's great training. We have videos, we have simulations in each of these. And let me open one of them just to show you what we have. If you go to company code, introduction, what that is all about. Then we have a video that references that. And then we have hands-on simulation. And if you open this, you can start that simulation by just following the prompts that you see on the screen. If you click there, then you can select SPRO in this case. You click on the enter button. Click on that, click on that. So this is how our simulations are structured. You can actually have hands-on practice on each of these functionalities. Like for example, configuring the company code, you go through all those processes and by the end of the training or the simulation, you can be able to really know or have hand, that's hands-on practice on how to do that. So the other element that I want to highlight in this case is related to if you want to have SAP access, we have links to our affiliate partners where you can actually get SAP Sadbox where you can actually practice on a live system. So now moving on, just want to do a quick summary of the things that we have covered uh, in those few slides. We looked at the content that will be covered during this training or this course. Then we also reviewed the details of the content that is contained in each of the modules. And lastly, we looked at the high level overview of course structure and additional resources uh, such as OpenSAP, the YouTube channel and uh, bridgesicloud.com website. So thank you so much for your time. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You shall be getting notifications of as I upload those courses. And also remember to visit www.bridgesicloud.com for additional training content. Thank you and see you in the next video.